That's Cordero Patterson back deep for the Hello. kickoff. And welcome to my And Sebastian Jankowski looks set draft now draft to kick it draft. away. Third day to draft ended about, I don't know, 45 minutes ago, about maybe an hour. So this is basically every pick of interest I have. This game into, has uh, officially begun. Or, for the final day of the draft. Patterson so, won't test the coverage here as he takes a knee. Five and six. Not the so offense many. is Seven. led by one of the they most all have dynamic quarterbacks in the NFL, Teddy Bridgewater so, out of Louisville. I'll just start with Teddy Bridgewater out of the University of Louisville goes to the Minnesota pick, Vikings in the first round of, uh, of the 2014 the draft. Cook. He can move around. Did not see this coming. Knows how to run the, an uh, offense very Raiders well. traded up a couple to be a first round pick. To uh, select Connor Cook. And... He's their backup quarterback. I think maybe they're going to try and use him as a trade piece. But I think they were afraid Dallas was going to take him, and now they have a top-tier backup. And maybe a guy who even two tight one ends day on the field for the if snap. they really believe him. Two hands on the football and has Next. the catch. Jacksonville continues to crush it in the fourth round with the pick of Sheldon Day. Uh, Sheldon Day is a very good defensive Nice job that time by the tight end. Makes one of the better pass rushing defensive You've got to look out for him now in the NFL. Remember, Jacksonville continues the closest to receiver to the quarterback. To be quarterback more gets in trouble. He's going to look for the tight end. It's the Vikings against Next. the Raiders. They were a Tyler Higby back in uh, going to L.A. Bill in Super Bowl 11. I, mean, I just thought it was interesting that Higby was, you know, a lot of people had him ranked in the top five the tight end. The most I had him ranked just Brent outside of it. The man so, with all the stick made some big interesting that by L.A. Jared Cook's gone, so they did Mike need to find a guy. Was dealt to the Vikings they can from see Miami Higby after the Dolphins had acquired him a couple of years before in free agency, paid a lot of money for him. Things did not work out in Miami, but what about here in Minnesota. Jim North Turner is the offensive coordinator for the Minnesota Next, Vikings. Uh, safety. Miles Kilbrew is the uh, Wallace, so they can get those big pass Kilbrew, I think, is the hard hitting safety. He is one of the great the talents on, head, on defense the in the, the entire, entire really league. You know, hard hitter. Khalil Mack. And now let's see. Overall, his, his level of seems competition to be more of a uh, college. Uh, did we just smash that little I mean, uh, phrase and get more of you know, kind of one of those high he he got it done in the NFL. Kind of the NFL. The but Vikings are a hard hitter. That or he's a pair of backs split behind the quarterback. Either way, good pick for Detroit. They have a need. And the first. Next, LA taking Pharaoh Cooper, a wide receiver. Again, they have to find targets for a Gare Goff. Don't see enough of I this think in Cooper, the NFL I think anymore. The outrider. Everybody's afraid nine? to throw it. They want all those they showed it. Say so dink and dunks inside. Undersized, but, but that is a nice has good speed by the quarterback. But and wide overall, receiver. I think they need to find guys for uh, uh, Jared Goff to throw it to. And I think that's probably going to be their next, their biggest priority coming into next season is finding a number one wide receiver. Next, Minnesota taking Willie Beavers. Uh, First and passes. 10. I really like Beavers. I had him ranked in the third round. But, again, dropping out. I like Beavers. Uh, I think he'll be a good backup and maybe can even take uh, Ryan. Not Ryan, but... Uh, and quarterback, the young man. Matt There's Cole's been a lot of buzz uh, around him at 6'3", out of if Fresno State, Derek Carr. Derek Carr. Derek Carr out of Fresno State, a second round pick Next. by the Oakland Raiders. Uh, hey, look, there's nothing Cincinnati taking he can't do. Andrew He's Miller. big, strong, throws the football now, very well. Really like. And let's I don't forget, he can really move around. Him. But Javon Hargreaves supposedly is a very good prospect, kind of a raw guy, like all the players in my opinion so far. But I really like Billings and the Vikings with a nickel Cincinnati look here on pick. defense. Need a defensive tackle. Ready, ready, Pifu, getting older. First down at the 49. Next, Chicago taking Dion Bush. Hooper's got it. Uh, I think the it's a really good pick. Dion Bush was, you know, some people had him ranked at the top five safety. Again, I had him about seven or eight. Our job is to sell that play bacon. Boy, but he do it that good pick for Chicago. The defense, and That's the their next biggest concern is working on that secondary and maybe finding an eventual replacement to uh, Jay Cutler, which they did not do in this class. I was expecting them to take Connor Cook. Next, 
Kenneth Dixon to Baltimore. Dixon's a very good running back. They need to find another guy to go to the end Justin zone. Forsett to uh, run the ball. Forsett after that injury, I mean, they had a couple guys that were kind of rotating in there, but I think their run game the kind of off take at that it from point. the 33. So, Michael I think it's a good pick. With the reception. He's probably gonna, you know, well, if you guard the tight end close, probably it, it sometimes that doesn't spot. matter. They're, they're so big and they got right long now, arms. So we will see. Still make the catch. Quarterbacks get the next. The quarterback they everyone expected Dallas to take, or you know, they were expected to take a quarterback. I think a lot of people had this Just guy going to the yards Prescott to pay dirt. State. Again, this is who I also had Dallas taking at a later round. I said the Raiders four, bring in round. an extra tight end for this play. Well, I think the Prescott Raiders took a bit of a fall a after the 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 made We will see. The but I really like Prescott. I think he's developing a very good player. Next. Maybe the best the running back selection in the draft no so far. Uh, Devontae Booker is going to get it. Uh, Devontae Booker is very talented, and I think he'll do great things in Denver. He'll probably be their day one starter, or at least he'll share snaps as a starter with C.J. Anderson or Ronnie Hillman. So we will see. And the last uh, pick of interest I have down at the 21. is... Cardell Jones to Buffalo. Looking across Again, the middle, this is a pick I also you know, kind of target over the middle. Cardell Jones is kind of like a, goes um, incomplete. a Tyrod the Taylor. Unit, you know, he has more productivity in size. Michael Crabtree, a wide receiver, so, a first round. I really like Cardell Jones. I think he'll be their starter. Not two or three years. I think this he's is going to be a breakout year for Michael Crabtree. He's got experience. He's overcome injuries. Then, I only have four players of interest for the fifth round. The football field, so that and I'm sure he will. Zach Sanders, down and ten. Back from Murray's got Oklahoma down. going to Carolina. I like Sanchez. I think he's raw. We're early he in this one, one, but already a uh, crucial so third and long play pick. coming up. Oh, these are tough situations. Next, a lot of people have Jordan Howard. Who went to There's Chicago. only so much you can do. Uh, if I was a lot of people said Jordan Howard may have been one of the best defensive or running backs in this class. I I think he was just outside of my top five, so I think he's very good. He'll compete with Jeremy Langford. I think Langford is the better of the two, so I think Langford will probably get the nod, but he'll be a nice change of pace guy to Langford. And that's going to do it for the first Langford. quarter. We'll be back to Oakland for the start of the season. Next after the pick break. I really like, Kansas City potentially getting their quarterback of the future in uh, Kevin Hogan. Kevin Hogan may be the smartest quarterback Papa John. Yeah, Hogan's we really talented. Get better ingredients, better pizza. And overall, I like Kevin Hogan. The Raiders. I feel like if there's any quarterback in this class that will get the second you know, quarter, past the fourth round, that can be a starter one day and be a real good starter. It's Kevin Hogan. My last guy in the fifth round, Alex Collins, going to Seattle. Alex Collins missed his entire Third season last now. year with a knee injury. But he would have been Arkansas. I think Cars ready for the snap in the backfield. And I think he missed almost the entire the season. It's not quarter season. is underway so with this snap. He's extremely talented, but and he's coming off the quarterback. Injury, which probably made him drop. Next, going into the sixth round. Maybe the best story in this draft. Well, that time the quarterback is sacked on the third right down, this, and that's Morris Bozinger. Bozinger. He did not try to force Boringer. the ball down the field know. and get the Moritz Bozinger. To Minnesota. This guy is the first ever international Janikowski player drafted. Will line up for the not the first goal you know, player from like Germany or something drafted, but he's the first player that has not gone to college in America drafted from overseas. So he will go down in history as that. But overall, this guy may be no one of the biggest. You know, well, it was a long field uh, goal attempt. But this time, maybe one of the biggest late round any points at all. Yeah, he has so much talent and, you know, like this, everything he's 6'4", he's snap been the drawn comparisons to Mike and Evans, and he has 6'4", and that's why speed, they missed the field goal. or he has 4'3", speed, 4'4", four, four speed, the Raiders speed defense and he's 6'4". He's incredible. The same kind of result they had he's the incredible. All, I think he's raw, awesome. and he'll it's have so to learn how to play at the highest level. Because if you look at the receiver the wrong way, they'll throw a flag. So good job by the defense. a ton of talent. Another player, uh, another great story, Keenan Robinson going to Baltimore. I don't have a position for Robinson. I just have him rigged as an athlete. Uh, Robinson, you know, went to Navy. Line. Second quarter, tie was, game. You know, Score. one of the best zero players in college zero. football for about four years. It has the NCAA record for most uh, career the touchdowns. Take it from the 43. This guy has so much talent. He can do a lot. Of Mack 
you know, he could be a running back, the the time, back. whatever they really want to do. He could throw the ball, come around, trick plays and stuff. But overall, I think Keenan Redmond with a you great score. You've got a good you know, defense when you can hit the quarterback and sack him and when you're only sending your game. defensive front and no blitzers. That's like when the only Raiders fullback, beat the Vikings back in yeah, Super Bowl. Only fullback, Derek Watt. Was the, game's the, game's MVP. the only reason I have this one is J.J. Watt. Coach Matt. I'll get to another fullback. The field on the shoulders of his players. Yeah, you know, Jim, about, so but, can I. It was a great moment for that Derek organization. Watt, a, so yeah. many good years the Raiders had under pick. John I mean, Madden. He's a fullback, but how about that game? Fred Belitnikoff was the MVP. Like you said, was the MVP. And they are in on Peterson. Another quarterback I really like. He ends up three. Well, the my most second to last quarterback most I have on coordinators do in the NFL um, on third long Brandon situations. Allen, to they're going to call. He'll be a great backup to Blake they probably Bortles, don't think, think they're going to pick up the first down, the but they're Star looking for field position. You know, the defense leaves Jackson for one more, one more stop here on third down, down after that run. Next, Detroit takes it Anthony from Zettel. the gun. Like the pick, I think was a really good late round prospect with the Now they take the football. Good size, no good run stuff. Of the field. And overall, just a good player. And I think him and we've hit the two-minute uh, warning Robinson here could in the first half. Into their starting two, uh, and my last quarterback that I have uh, drafted, that was drafted, is Jeff Driscoll. Just uh, very we're surprised. Back, and we're coming out of the two-minute warning I in the first half. I can't believe Adams wasn't drafted. I'll get to that in a bit. But Jeff Driscoll. Uh, athletic guy, you know, left Florida to go to Virginia, or not Virginia, uh, Louisiana Tech. Had a good season there, but I think Driscoll probably could have been you know, a higher pick if he stayed at Florida. At the 42. This play set up by the long and gainer. I have five picks in the seventh round that were interesting. Uh, first He'll Jaylen stand Mills. back beyond A lot of people said Jalen Mills were in, you know, a borderline fourth third round field. prospect, falling all the way to the seventh, so... I think Philly got a really good pick here. And overall gets a guy who could potentially start for them in the future. Next, Vandal Alexander going to Oakland. Uh, Vandal Alexander, again, people had maybe as a borderline third, fourth round guy. At least a fifth as an interior lineman. But again, he fell down to the seventh. I think it's a good pick by Oakland. Next, Tyler Metabevic. To Pittsburgh. This guy, uh, pretty sure he was the like defensive player of the year for college. Pretty much had a really good season Snapping at Temple. The football from had great the numbers, and I think he can potentially, if he continues to develop and show that he can be a starter, yeah. could potentially the play for the take it from the years, twenty-eight. With Ryan He'll here. throw it over the middle. And overall, Look at that concentration he as he makes the grab. That's his Pittsburgh. first reception today. Next. A pick I'm kind of surprised that it comes sooner. I Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very Wright. small. Quarterbacks with strong arms really like still Wright. fire it I'm in there. Very nice throw right on target by the QB. Head, very, very talented player. First down on the way. Next, Callan Reed, Tennessee. The reason I have this guy on here is Mr. Reed. Yeah. The final pick in the NFL draft. Snap so, it out of the gun. He will be here the 2016. Makes the catch. Lofton's able to and read that play and make the hit. Drafted. That kind of surprise. First, Travian Boyd. I think Boyd can, you know, Quarterback should have never thrown at that time, even athlete, though he completes kind of the like pass. Do it all kind he should have seen the offense. defense was right there. So I'm surprised he went on draft. Yards. I thought at minimum he was my sixth, seventh round guy. And also, Vernon Adams. I'm surprised no one picked him. I think he'll probably get a chance on an NFL roster. At the 16-yard line, go to here Canada they come. And tear it apart for the, the Raiders lined up in the nickel. You guys are locked out. Next, Ben Broniker. Harvard guy. Out of the really like him. I think he's a good, a good blocker. Had a lot of potential to be you know, a solid receiver. And, to the ground. and I'm just very surprised that he wasn't there. Another one, De Devin Cages from uh, Stanford. You got to stay aggressive. I like him. Six, four, has that, okay the defense speed. did. Even yeah, though the offense hand, is going into score, they finally they come up with a big play, and they get the interception inside the home 20 yard line. And lastly, Glenn Gronkowski. I thought this guy'd be drafted just because of me. You know, I thought you wouldn't really take a shot at him just to put him on the team with his brother, and it didn't. So that's where we're at.
that's pretty much it for uh, my day three recap. I'm not going to drag this on any longer than it has to. So for now, this is the last. Signing off.